The sun was setting behind the jagged peaks of the mountains, casting a warm orange glow over the rugged landscape. Thane Ironjaw, a hulking barbarian warrior, stood at the edge of a cliff overlooking the valley below. His thick muscles rippled as he gripped his crimson axe tightly. Thane had been wandering the land for months, seeking revenge against the Kralgorians, a tribe of ruthless warlords who had slaughtered his family and burned his village to the ground. He had tracked them across barren deserts and treacherous forests, always one step behind, but now, Thane had finally caught up to them. He could see the smoke rising from their encampment, hear the distant sounds of clanging swords and shouting men. He knew that the Kralgorians were preparing for war, and Thane was ready to give them one. Thane turned to his companion, Alara Moonshadow, a slender sorceress with sharp green eyes and flowing silver hair. She was studying a map, her fingers tracing the intricate lines and symbols. We need to be careful, Alara said, her voice low and serious. The Kralgorians are powerful warriors, and they have many allies in this land. We can't afford to be seen or captured. Thane grunted in agreement. He knew that Alara was right. The Kralgorians were not to be underestimated, and they would not hesitate to kill any who opposed them. We'll attack their camp at night, Thane said, his voice low and gravelly. We'll catch them off guard, when they least expect it. Alara nodded, a determined look on her face. I'll use my magic to create a diversion, she said. That should give us the element of surprise. Thane grinned, he liked the sound of that. He had always preferred to fight on his own terms, to be the one who dictated the battle. As the sun disappeared behind the mountains, Thane and Alara began their descent down the cliff face. They moved silently, their footsteps light and sure. Thane could feel his heart pounding in his chest, the excitement of battle coursing through his veins. Finally, they reached the bottom of the cliff and crept towards the Kralgorian camp. Thane could see the flickering light of torches and hear the faint sounds of laughter and shouting. And then, suddenly, Alara's hand shot out and grabbed Thane's arm, pulling him back into the shadows. Look, she whispered, pointing towards the edge of the camp. Thane peered through the darkness, and his eyes widened in surprise. A group of hooded figures was approaching the Kralgorian camp, their faces obscured by thick cloaks. Thane and Alara watched as the figures entered the camp, their movements quick and precise. They seemed to know exactly where they were going. What do you think they're doing? Thane asked, his voice low and cautious. Alara shook her head. I'm not sure, she said, but we should follow them. They might lead us to the Kralgorian leaders. Thane nodded in agreement, and the two of them crept towards the camp. Staying low and silent, they followed the hooded figures through the maze of tents and buildings. Their senses on high alert. Finally, the figures stopped in front of a large tent at the center of the camp. Thane and Alara watched as they disappeared inside, the tent flaps closing behind them. Thane turned to Alara, his eyes gleaming with excitement. Let's go, he said, his grip tightening on his crimson axe. It's time to finish this. Thane and Alara wait for a few moments, observing the camp from a safe distance. They stay low, crouching behind a rock formation that shields them from view. They can hear the sounds of metal clanking and horses neighing as the Kralgorians prepare for war. Thane looks at Alara and nods, indicating that it's time to move. They stealthily make their way towards the large tent, keeping their eyes peeled for any guards or traps. Thane can feel his heart pounding in his chest, and his palms are slick with sweat. But this is it, the moment he's been waiting for. He's going to avenge his family and his village, no matter what it takes. As they approach the tent, they can hear muffled voices coming from inside. Thane signals to Alara to create a diversion, and she nods in agreement. If she begins to chant under her breath, and suddenly, a bright flash of light illuminates the area. Thane takes advantage of the distraction and charges towards the tent. Axe in hand, he bursts through the entrance, ready to face his enemies. But what he sees leaves him stunned. The hooded figures are gathered in a circle, performing a ritual around a large stone altar. Thane recognizes the symbols etched into the stone, and he realizes that this is no ordinary ritual. They're summoning a demon, a powerful creature from the underworld. Thane hesitates for a moment, unsure of what to do. He's never fought against a demon before, and he knows that it's a formidable opponent. Alara appears beside him, her wand drawn and ready for action. She whispers in his ear, we have to stop them. If that demon is unleashed, it could destroy everything. Thane nods in agreement, and they charge towards the hooded figures. Determined to stop the ritual, the figures turn towards them, revealing their faces. Thane recognizes some of them as Kralgorian soldiers, but others are unfamiliar to him. They draw their weapons and prepare to fight. Thane charges towards them, his axe swinging in a wide arc. Alara stays back, firing spells at the figures from a safe distance. Thane's axe connects with one of the soldiers, slicing through his armor and embedding itself in his chest. Thane pulls it out and swings again taking out another soldier. Meanwhile, Alara's spells are having an effect. One of the hooded figures is hit by a bolt of lightning and falls to the ground. Convulsing, another is enveloped in flames. Screaming in agony, Thane and Alara fight their way through the circle of figures, determined to reach the altar. Finally, they make it to the altar, and Thane raises his axe to strike the stone. But before he can, a figure steps out from the shadows, blocking his path. It's the Kralgorian warlord, Zulik, a towering figure with a cruel smile on his face. 
You're too late. Ironjaw, Zulik sneers. The demon is already on its way. You can't stop it now. Thane grits his teeth, ready to fight. He knows that this is his chance to finally defeat Zulik. The man who killed his family. He charges towards him. Axe raised high. The fight is brutal and intense. With both men trading blows. Thane is fueled by his rage and his desire for revenge. Zulik is a skilled warrior. But Thane is relentless. Driving him back with each strike. Finally, Thane lands a blow that sends Zulik reeling. He takes advantage of the moment and swings his axe with all his might. Striking Zulik down, the warlord falls to the ground. Dead. Thane turns towards the altar, ready to destroy it and stop the ritual. But it's too late. The demon has been summoned. And it's already making its way towards them. Thane and Alara stand back to back. Ready to face the creature. It's massive. With wings that span the entire tent and eyes that glow with an otherworldly light. Thane charges towards it, swinging his axe. The fight is brutal and intense. With Thane and Alara barely managing to dodge the demon's attacks. Thane's axe seems to have no effect on the creature. And Alara's spells barely scratch its skin. Finally, Thane comes up with an idea. He charges towards the altar. Grabbing the stone with both hands. He channels all his rage and his hatred into the stone. Pouring all his energy into it. The stone begins to glow. And Thane can feel the demon's power draining away. He screams, pouring everything he has into the stone. Alara joins him, adding her own power to the mix. And finally, with a deafening roar, the demon dissipates, disappearing in a cloud of smoke. Thane and Alara collapse to the ground, exhausted but victorious. Thane looks around, his eyes taking in the destruction that surrounds him. The Kralgorian camp is in ruins, bodies scattered everywhere, but he feels a sense of satisfaction, knowing that he's avenged his family and his village. He turns to Alara and smiles, feeling a sense of camaraderie with her. They've been through so much together, and he knows that he couldn't have done it without her. Together, they leave the camp, ready to face whatever challenges. Thane and Alara walk through the dense forest, their footsteps muffled by the thick underbrush. Thane's battle axe was slung over his shoulder, while Lara carried her staff at the ready. They had been traveling for days since they left the Kralgorian camp. With no clear destination in mind, Thane was lost in thought as they walked, his mind still reeling from their encounter with the demon. He had faced many foes in his life, but the demon had been unlike anything he had ever encountered. Its power had been overwhelming, and he had only been able to defeat it by channeling his own rage and energy into the stone. As they walked, they came across a small village nestled in a clearing. The villagers were in a state of panic, huddled together in groups and whispering urgently. Thane and Alara approached cautiously, sensing that something was amiss. What's going on here? Thane asked one of the villagers. It's the dragon, the man replied. It's been attacking our village for weeks now, burning our homes and terrorizing our people. Thane gritted his teeth. He had faced dragons before, but they were always formidable opponents. He turned to Alara. We have to help these people, he said. Alara nodded, and together they set out to slay the dragon. They traveled to the nearby mountains, where the dragon was said to make its lair. As they climbed higher, the air grew colder and the wind whipped around them. Finally, they reached the entrance to the dragon's cave. Thane took a deep breath and charged forward, his battle axe glinting in the dim light. Alara followed closely behind, unleashing a barrage of spells at the dragon. The dragon was massive, with scales as hard as steel and a roar that shook the very mountains. Thane and Alara fought bravely, but it seemed that nothing could penetrate the dragon's defenses. Thane was growing desperate, his rage building with each passing moment. He knew that he couldn't defeat the dragon with brute force alone. Suddenly, an idea came to him. Alara, he shouted, use your magic to blind the dragon. Quote, Alara nodded, and with a wave of her staff, she conjured a bright flash of light that temporarily blinded the dragon. Thane seized the opportunity and swung his battle axe with all his might. Striking the dragon's neck and severing its head, the dragon's body slumped to the ground. Stood victorious. The villagers cheered as they returned to the village, grateful for their heroism. As they rested by the fire that night, Thane and Alara spoke of their adventures and the battles they had fought. They had become closer as friends and comrades, united in their quest for justice and peace. We've faced many enemies, but we've always come out on top, Thane said. Alara smiled. That's because we're a good team, she replied. Thane nodded in agreement. We are, and we'll face whatever challenges come our way, together.